Hi guys, this is a re-upload of the Yamaha MT-10, which is one of my first uh, reviews that I've done, so it's it's not the best. And the original one, I just cringe at now. So I wanted to re-upload it and uh, cut out all the bits and bobs which I didn't like before. So this is the Yamaha MT-10, which was originally shot in April 2019. And uh, thank you very much for watching. All the spec will be at the end. As I say, it was early days in my YouTube uh, hobby, career, whatever it is now. Enjoy. <laughs> MT-10 Beauty Cool, I can run Feel like Royal Jordanian <laughs> Quick Is this second gear? Oh, yeah, it'll go It'll go beyond my capabilities anyway <laughs> uh, I've got traction control on I think as well Let's Have a quick look at it here Two thousand and nineteen MT ten um, Acropovic exhaust, which sounds absolutely mustard. Really, really grunty. Nice front end on it. Four cylinder. Quite a mean machine. Might take this one out on the dual carriageway in a minute. Cause I reckon this one could um, see what that screen's like. Longer journeys, etc. God, what a grunt that is! It's lovely. Still nice machine. Good mile muncher I would imagine. Find out in a minute. Lovely raw to it. Slow speed, it's still quite quite handable actually, it's alright. Although when I get one leg down, it's on the balls of my feet. Oh, a tunnel, can't be a tunnel. Still quite light when it's going. Oh, I want to give it a bit of welly now, in the bloody way. I'm going to knock it in fourth and then give it some welly. Fuck, bloody hell, it's got loads. Loads and loads. It's quite a windy day today, but I would say the wind is probably... Yeah, it does a good job, but it's still there, but uh, I personally, I can live with that quite happily. It's kind of just right there. I don't like looking through a screen. I've had a bike like that before where you're looking through it all the time, and it gets a bit irritating, certainly in the summer when it gets the flies covered in flies. And I say, I could do this all day. So that's fifth gear. Open her up. There you go. Whoosh. God, bloody hell, she goes. I've never tried cruise control in a car or a bike. As long as I know how to turn it off. Oh yeah, like that. Ah, oh, cruise control is a must. That is superb. God, that's really bugging me. That blooming screen now is making my ears go funny. It's brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Checking on my gear. I'm going to stall it here, so it gives me the creeps at junction anyway. Whoa! <laughs> oh dear. I could see the world on this thing. <laughs> Love it. Ah, yeah, I just want to overtake something now. Right, where am I going here? Straight ahead. Car, grunt, grunt. But this here is just great for 
going on a long day trip or, or some some such thing. You know, it's just there's so much there. You got so much underneath you. It's so much power. I just I don't really want to be raining it back all the time. I feel I am doing that a little bit with this one. I'm just tickling it. Hey! Tell you what, on these bigger capacity machines, you get you get places so quickly. Well, it feels like it anyway. Probably not much different than a car, but it just feel like you get there quicker. Oh, look at this! This is great. Whee! A bit juddery. Just the way it's set up, no doubt, I expect. God, wee! Look at that. I find myself having to recalibrate how I ride. Which kind of makes sense, of course you would. But even holding on to the grips, I, I, I can't explain it really. I, I don't know, maybe I'm holding on. <laughs> holding on too tight, maybe. Not surprising with the, this bloody monster. It's good though, it's a great bike, guess. I like it. Gear of my own six. Ah, that's what it's all about. And then, down to a 30. Of course I will abide by that. At all costs. What is 30 in kilometres? Oh, I've got an excuse now, I don't know. It's a great machine. Thanks again to Bridge for letting me get out on this one. On the Yamaha demo day. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. It's really opened my eyes up to the Yamaha. What's going on here? Looks like somebody's broken down or something, I think. No? Don't know. What's going on? Get me through. Thank you. Uh, this is a this is a a really good machine. Have, have I said that once or twice already? I really do like this. <laughs> I wouldn't have one. Like I say, I wouldn't have one. It's uh, you just tickle it too much. But uh, oh, missed. Oh, Mr. Cock there. Might have been my fault. Blame the bike though. Yeah, I really appreciate Bridge. Let me have a go on this because it means I can. Expand my horizons and know exactly what's what. You know, if you don't try something, you don't know what it's like. So how are you going to buy it? But this year, it's um, as with the CB thousand, you know, it sort of opened my eyes a bit. Great bike, this is really great. Going back to the MT07, I reckon if I tried the trace tracer version, it would probably tick more boxes for me because having that screen is it is good it is a good big help certainly on a machine like this you know it's uh, oh, just brilliant it's a fantastic machine I'm oh, just getting in the swing of it now I've got to take it back all right thanks again to bridge much appreciated adios <laughs>